She's the first foreign leader to visit Beirut since Israel began its ground offensive against Hezbollah last month. Italy's Georgia Maloney slammed attacks on United Nations peacekeepers in Lebanon, known as UNIFIL, after the UN forces accused Israeli troops of deliberately firing at its positions. I consider targeting UNIFIL unacceptable, and I ask once again that all parties strive to ensure that all times the safety of each of uh, this soldier is guaranteed. Only by strengthening UNIFIL while maintaining its impartiality, we will be able to turn the page. With some 1,000 troops there, Italian soldiers form one of the main contingents of the UN's peacekeeping force in Lebanon. Last week, five peacekeepers were wounded in a series of incidents, and UNIFIL has pushed Israel for explanations for what they called shocking violations, including forced entry. Israel denies deliberately targeting the UN peacekeepers and has told them to leave for their own safety. UNIFIL, though, vows to stay put in Lebanon and that its forces wouldn't defend themselves using violence. Uh, we are under Chapter 6 of the Security Council. Of course, self-defense can be used, but we also have to be very pragmatic on when to use it and how to use it because we don't want to become part of the conflict and uh, using force that could trigger more violence. This is not something what uh, we are... We are planning to do. So we're trying to decrease the tensions. Alongside Germany, Italy has been a staunch European supporter of Israel, though Maloney has repeatedly called for it to comply with humanitarian law. Maloney told reporters that after wrapping up her visit, she plans to call for fresh talks with her Israeli counterpart, Benjamin Netanyahu.